Hello friends, this is Durga from IT Varsity, a one-stop shop to learn all the technologies. As you guys are aware of it, I run a YouTube channel called IT Varsity. You can go to my channel by going to browser and uh, um, go to youtube.com slash IT Varsity in or just search for IT Varsity, you will be able to go to my channel. So typically I record my videos in the form of playlist. A playlist is nothing but a series of videos on a particular topic. and uh, uh, you can see a number of playlists on my channel and as part of this video I am trying to introduce um, a new playlist called creating virtual machines uh, from a bare metal server. So we will start with uh, understanding what is bare metal server and what is virtualization, how to set up hypervisor, how to create virtual machines and many more things. So we will take a bare metal server uh, from something called hosting service provider such as ovh.com so this is an example and this is the server which we are trying to use and then um, once we provision the server it could be hosting service such as ovh rack space or any other service and um, there are something called bare metal servers we or we can also have in-house bare metal server and we will discuss about how to set up hypervisor on that and then how to set up virtual machines um, on that bare metal server. So this is how it will look like once we set up the bare metal servers. This is the IP address uh, on which my hypervisor is running and these are the virtual machines. We can also access this uh, using something called vSphere client. If you are using uh, VMware's vSphere or VMware's hypervisor, you can access the hypervisor um, using client tools such as vSphere vClient and you can set up the virtual machines and do whatever you want. So as part of this we, uh, this playlist we will see how to get the bare metal server from hosting service providers such as OVH, Rackspace etc. set up virtual machines and the advantage of setting up virtual machines are many irrespective of technology you want to learn if you can set up virtual machines it will um, you will get real world experience. So using this knowledge in future we will try to um, set up virtual machines for big data clusters such as Hadoop, Spark, Cassandra, MongoDB, you name it. We will try to come up with the content. And also if you want to explore DevOps tools such as Puppet, Chef, etc. It will also helpful for us. Uh, if you want to explore Cloud Foundry, this uh, knowledge of creating the virtual machines also will help us. So this is foundation uh, from infrastructure perspective to learn many of the uh, emerging technologies uh, using uh, our platform or any other platform. So we, uh, we will see uh, as we proceed, we, you will start seeing a lot more content like this over time. So that being said, I hope uh, you enjoyed the content on my channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide the feedback, please use the comment section of the video. And uh, if you are not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.